Hey guys, I made it up here. Most of the effort was done by Ben, by the way. And yeah, the view is very pretty, but I have no time to admire the view. I have to go back to work. So watch me as I learn how to do it. And yeah, wish me luck. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! Hmm. So, alright, as we are still waiting for wood to arrive, we still got our hull to finish, our last three or four planks and deck and everything. I thought let's get busy with something that has to be done later uh, and the sooner the better actually. So what I'm going to do is this mast has not had any attention in a very long time and I'm going to give it that. Uh, so what's going to happen is I'm going to sand them both down completely, uh, treat them with some linseed oil one maybe more time depending on how it absorbs and then put a nice coating over it because right now it, they are quite badly uh, sunburnt because they have been stripped down by weather from their previous protective layers and are now quite exposed and only getting worse so the way i'm going to start doing it is i'm going to start at the bottom of the masts and work my way up now i have a grinder with a 120 grit disc which i'm going to start with so far I've done a tiny bit and it looks like it's not too aggressive. I've always got, I was going to do it with this, but that's going to take forever. So if I need to, I can go with this after to just smoothen out some edges. But in some places, the, the outer layer, the protective layer of this mast is a bit thick. So grinder it is. Now, once I've done about the bottom three meters, I'm not going to do the 4th, the 5th, the 6th meter, I'm going to climb up the 6th meter, the chair or I've got a harness as well, and lower myself down as I'm standing. So I don't have to do a meter, pull myself up, another meter, pull myself up. So I could just start from the top and lower myself down, but I don't know how fast this is going to go. So I'm going to start with this, it's a little experiment this area, and I can practice a bit and then when I'm more confident at this, I'm not going to damage the mast, I'll start going higher and higher. So, let's get cracking. about done with everything up to about that sorry for the sun let's get in the shade that stainless steel ring around the mast I still need to sand a bit off here I ended up just using the grinder because this is a, uh, just bit my tongue this is a super solid wood the guys are saying like you can't even cut this with a chainsaw so it makes sense that I'm using the grinder I'll go over it again with a lighter grit uh, grit but it's looking amazing. Let's see if we can head over to the other side to actually get a bit of the color. It's like a redwood, very, very pretty. There are some bits that have gotten a bit humid and soft. I might uh, varnish over that, resin over it, or take that soft bit out and replace it with a new epoxy. Don't know yet. But for now, it's all about the rest of the mast. It's all in good condition other than that. And I'm gonna just finish maybe one more meter just above the furler and then I'll start applying a nice layer of linseed oil.
gear ready to go up to keep sanding the mast, but I'm gonna apply some linseed oil already to the parts that I have sanded. And I might find some places that still have to be sanded. I'm very curious to see what it's gonna look like after the oil has been applied. I think it's gonna be amazing. day of sanding and painting the linseed oil on I think I'm halfway up the mast from the deck so probably including what's below deck it's a bit more than half so that's epic it looks epic as well let me show you so we want to keep it similar to this color see what the, well put a nice see-through varnish over the top so it stays like this but that is amazing so I don't know if you can see it there we go that is the color of our mast and I've done up to probably just under the line, just under where the sun is. So I'm gonna go and wash my face, my hands and everything. And typically today the showers are being mended. So I'll see what I can do with the hose. So our hull is still not finished because we are still waiting for wood to arrive. Now these times here with COVID, it's just very difficult to get our hands on big pieces of wood like that because lots of the wood supplies inland are shut due to COVID restrictions. As you can see, our beams are mainly finished. So what we're gonna start working on is our deck. We have some huge wide planks. I think they're like nearly one meter wide. And we were not going to use them for decking because they're so hard to get our hands on. And we might wanna use them for something else. Uh, here we go, that's one of them, they're huge. Now, as we're waiting for so long for this wood to arrive and we're actually wasting a lot of time, we have decided to use those big boards for decking. So over here, they're being cut already to the shape that we need for the decking, which is about 20 centimeters. And they're gonna be made and placed nicely on top of the deck. that have been cut which is amazing because we're going to see even more progress and <laughs> we're not going to fall through those beams anymore but also very cool is there's someone whose name starts with an M and finishes with a P who's halfway up the mast we're busy sanding the rest and uh, I helped her up now I'm just going to go and get a beer and a barbecue I'll go get her when we're finished you okay? He's tired, but okay. 
Hi everyone! Have you seen the beautiful work that Ben has done here? The mess is looking so amazing. We love the color. We are super proud of it. We are leaving it showing for sure. The thing is, we didn't finish yet. So... We still have to do it. And the thing is, Ben is really sore today. So, it's my turn. And I have to confess, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never been that high up and yeah, Ben will help me, we'll see. I have to go back to work. So watch me as I learn how to do it and yeah, wish me luck. Okay, are we ready for this? Hope I'm filming properly, I have no idea. I don't know if I'm filming properly because you guys are attached to my head but this is what I did and I'm exhausted already this is so tiring maybe because I'm tense but this is crazy tiring which I, I admire Ben because I just did this 30 centimeters and I'm already dead this is super tiring and he did all the rest and didn't complain so I understand why he's so sore today and I'm glad I could help a bit but I think my energy is coming to an end because this is a bit too much but yeah Ben you're a superstar I don't know if you can see the old varnish and the dry part going away and revealing the red that part's super satisfying but I'm too tense to enjoy this satisfying feeling let's go
little video when I'm up at the top. I'm starting from the top now, or at least as close as I can before we have to remove these stainless steel uh, brackets and fast or well, whatever's around the mast. I've started right under there. Uh, I've got all this and about what's that? another 50 centimeters under my feet. Then the whole mast has been sanded, except for above this uh, spreader. Later I'll go and stand on the spreader to make it a lot easier. I'll come with different gear because I won't need to sit in a chair. But I'm just going to sand everything under that spreader for now. Uh, is it still called a spreader in a schooner like this? So I have finished, finally, sanding mast, the foremast. So it's already varnished, or at least linseed oiled, sorry, up to here. Now I've finished sanding up to the spreaders. Now I'm gonna go down, go and wash my face of all the sawdust, have a drink, and then I'll have to go and get some linseed oil, come back up and finish oiling the whole mast. I'll probably oil it all, even though the lowest part has oil on already. But this is gonna look amazing once it's been oiled and once it's got the varnish on. Now, I still have to do the highest parts, but I think I'll use a grinder for that because it's got some quite thick paint on and I'll have a different rigging. So, down we go. And see you up here next time. leaving us we are curious to see who's the next one we always learn with our neighbors we get ideas they're usually super nice people so wish you all the best bye We want to make the stripe a little bit thicker for it to look nicer because this is actually just for the looks, right? So the first cut is made with just a single blade on the circular saw and as we have two blades on the same size they've put two blades together to make the second cut which makes it just thick enough for it to look like a seam between two planks which we're going to put a seeker flex in between. So as you can see here it's a very thin one this one's already had the double blade. Today's a Friday these deck planks are ready they've also got the seam in the middle for it to look like two planks you'll see later if you don't see what's gonna happen now and we're gonna actually just let them sit there for a while so they dry a bit more so that when we put them on the boat that they don't shrink a bit more so that we can prevent as much or all of the water infiltration from the top as possible so we did previously cut the grooves inside the deck planks with the circular saw with a double I think a seven and a half inch blade seven and a quarter inch blades two of them 
but as you see the blades as they were quite long and big these they wobbled and create a bit of a uh, irregularity in the grooves so what's happening now is we're going over them again with a smaller two smaller blades so they are less likely to do that wobbling action and they're going to cut a much nicer groove through the middle so we have been about a month without any wood or hardly any and maybe receiving one piece at a time because all the wood shops are just out so we've been doing these other jobs like the mast uh, painting the inside removing removing stuff because you couldn't add stuff so if you have a look here i'm gonna show you what it looks like now and then i'll show you what it looks like when all the woods arrive so we've got a few boards under there hopefully this is just going to be full of wood soon so this is what the floor looks like now before the woods arrived and this is what it looks like after the delivery so i think we'll be good for a while now we didn't want to under buy the wood and therefore we are preventing us not being able to work anymore so when we're half at this stack and we realize there's a lot of work still to be done a lot of wood still to be bought we will top up and not let it run empty so the very good news is we've got lots and lots of new wood to work with bad news it's not that bad but we couldn't find any boards that were five centimeters thick so we're gonna work on the deck the houses the housing the bulkheads but not the hull so we're this boat's gonna be finished almost completely finished and it's still gonna have a big hole in the starboard aft and port side just because we're still missing wood for our hull So the 24 deck planks have been made. All that's required now is, in Portuguese it's cantilhão, which is where you actually plane a little corner off to allow the caulking in the deck to go a bit easier. Now the English name will be on the screen because I used to know it and I've forgotten it, but I'll, I'll remember. It.
So I just finished painting a lot of them. Uh, I just did it until the tin was empty, so we didn't need to let any dry out or waste any well, primer. But it's amazing to see that a few days ago we didn't have any wood and we were literally sitting around looking for stuff to do. And now there's all this, like that's drying, get, just being prepared to put on the boat. So imagine the moment when we can actually start bringing this to the boat, it's just gonna go so fast. Got a new drill, got a new impact driver, which is gonna make stuff even better, wireless, because this sharing extension cables was also a hassle, but we'll see, we'll probably use all of it still. Got these columns made, got this bulkhead, the boards for the bulkheads ready to cut. So honestly, like we've still got three, you see, three planks, four planks to paint over here. I just can't imagine what it's gonna be like to start seeing that deck take place and not have to balance on all those beams anymore and preventing stepping through the middle of them. So yeah, 24 deck planks, three big boards for uh, the bulkhead, four columns ready out of many, but to start, amazing. Before we head off, me, Ben and the whales would like to welcome and thank the people who joined us on Patreon and also for the PayPal donations. So thank you so much. Burkhardt. Jasper. David. Lee. Jameson. Ireland. Jordan. And Rudolph. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. And the whales, there, 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 there.